Hey there, everybody. I hope you're enjoying your spring break. If you are a teacher, parent, or a student watching this video, I want to keep sharing some lessons because I know that we are running out of time when it comes to English end of course one and two, because you guys have to take your test next month, but in math, we have another couple of months to get down some specific skills and some concepts that maybe the kids are struggling with. And I want to be able to use my common sense concepts of once your students see something, they will hopefully say something here and listen. For this problem, we don't need to smell anything but we need to be thinking about operations. A doctor does operations and in math, algebra, geometry, students also do operations and they just have to be able to know what to do with their pencil that's being held in their hand how can I think of a different way? If we don't differentiate our instruction, what sometimes is gonna happen is what happened on the next two problems that I'm gonna share with you. I can have the best reading knowledge. I can read and understand everything that a problem and a question is asking me. But when it comes to picking the right answer, if I haven't been taught, the skill that is required to be able to attack that question, then we're going to have problems. So what I want you to think about is a traffic light. When they come in the form of top to bottom, they're all in little circles. So think of three circles as the letter O. Order of order of operations. And the order of operations is a prior skill that's going to have to be taught in a different way because of the percentage of students that didn't know how to apply, apply the correct order of operations strictly with PEMDAS alone. So let me share with you a problem that I made up based on a sixth grade readiness question. So if you teach sixth grade anywhere in the United States, then it's possible that your seventh grade, because the students, this was from 2019, so these students are now in eighth grade, since only one fourth of them knew how to apply the order of operations skill to an algebraic expression, then we have to teach it a different way. So what I'm going to suggest that you do is think of the PE, not as physical education, but the red light, the 911, the priority is going to be parentheses and exponents that you find in the problem or the answer choices to see if it matches because the question says which expression is equivalent the same to the one that Abby writes and this is the one that Abby wrote and you can see that it has a plus sign here and it's first followed by a dot which as we know in math is multiplication followed by a fraction which means take the top number and divide it by the bottom, the bottom number. So there are no parentheses or exponents. So 
your students would hopefully have remembered, well, step two is do multiplication. What can I multiply? Seven times two, okay? Is there anything that says that? Yeah, there's a seven times two right there. None of the other ones have a seven times two. So I would automatically be able to eliminate these two and I'm not going to cross off D because I gotta make sure that it does the next thing. Well, the next thing is to divide. So the second yellow light says MD, Mr. Uh, I have an MD. Uh, I think that's like a, a, like a doctor has an MD if I'm not mistaken. As soon as you've done your multiplication, do your division. Well then, divide it by three. Is that what they did? Yes. They multiplied times two, they divided by three. Now do I, do I need to go to the green light? Order of operations? Yes. Do add or subtract? Does it add? Yes. But since y is an unknown number, it's a variable. It's variable depending on what number you decide to plug in there. Then the correct answer, because it followed the order of PEMDAS, thinking of PEMDAS as first three circles, what is the correct order of operations using a red light, a yellow light, and a green light to apply the skill. So if your students would have just done this simple little thing right here and said, okay, since I have to do multiplication and division first, I can on my own place a parentheses seven times two and then divide it by three. Well, that's basically the same as what A did. It just uh, moves the order around. So when you, there's some commutative, associative and distributive properties of equality that you need to teach the kids that allow you to say, the result of Y plus parentheses seven times two thirds, close parentheses, is going to be the same thing as moving the numbers that you're multiplying first to the left as we go from left to right, parentheses seven times two divided by three plus the y. So what happens possibly is if your students are used to just reading for understanding, but not understanding that PEMDAS takes priority over reading from left to right, they won't have the comprehension or the understanding that the information given is not in the order of the operations that should be done. So this is not the question. I went ahead and made one at the same level of rigor as question number 23. So if you teach PEMDAS anywhere in the United States, I suggest that you first teach your kids to put the three circles, then put the PE for red, parentheses and exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. And for those of you who have my mathematics chart, when you look at the lower left portion for integers, because we can be working with negative numbers as well when we're doing PEMDAS order of operations, there you can see I already have the red light, the yellow light, and the green light. So if you um, have my math posters, you probably also have my mathematics chart. This is the common sense advanced mathematics chart. I made it back in 2019 because I wanted something to teach place value, fractions, keywords, how to take a fraction and move it to a, change it to a decimal by dividing, 
to see how many tenths, hundreds, or thousands we have, and then how you can take a decimal and change it to a percent by moving the decimal two places to the right. Percent means move it to the right twice. So if I say, if I want to talk backwards, and I'm saying this because my next problem is going to be about a certain percent. So I say, oh, percent is another way of saying per cien, per hundred. So basically, if I say per cien, I can, I can go backwards and move the decimal to the right. So if my number is 65%, then going backwards, I can say per cn, put the decimal right here, that would be 65 hundredths or zero and 65 hundredths because one of the questions that I'm gonna do next in my math video talked about your students being able to take something that's only given in percent and move it back to a decimal. So I'll show that in the next video, so be sure to watch it. But I hope that this one regarding PEMDAS, the order of operations, helps your students in a different way to remember that it's not always just reading or understanding or comprehension from left to right, because it wouldn't be the correct order of operations. And as you can see, only 26% of the sixth graders in Texas got it correct. That would mean that probably a lot of students across the United States would struggle this, with this one is too, with this one too, because that maybe they either didn't know how to apply PEMDAS by moving numbers around like we did, or we didn't think of the priority, or they just try to do y plus seven, which would have been this, and then said, okay, well now let's do the two divided by three, which would break the PEMDAS order of operations rules. So I would say it isn't none of these because as I read carefully, I have an understanding that this letter is saying the same thing as the way that Abby wrote it, but it's just in a different order and it's presented in a different way because two fraction two divided by three with the line two thirds is the same thing as two divided by three, which is the same thing as two divided by three. So nine would be A in the book. So you'd want to make sure that your students put 9A in the Scantron or that they clicked on the 9A in the computer submission. So please share or tag your math teacher friends who are working with order of operations. This is a way that I think might be helpful to you and your students. Um, that they might be able to remember with their brains more than a few minutes. Because as you can see, whatever way it was taught in Texas, only one fourth of the students retained the concept of PEMDAS enough to understand that the order of operations not only does it mean you that's the order you do them that you can shift the order from the priority parentheses being to the left multiplication and division to the left and then you work your way to the right for addition and subtraction so hope you liked it please share or tag a writing a math teacher friend looking forward to working with some of you guys on math this school year or in the summer, um, I have turned, I'm turning my questions into the different structures that can be open-ended math questions. There are several. Uh, in fact, if you teach third and fourth grade, 
I've already looked at all the questions from both 2019 and 2021 and made questions like the most difficult ones for all of them in both multiple choice and different open-ended short constructed response type questions so that you won't have to start from scratch your kids can begin to prepare so look forward to training with you teachers this summer or to help because we still have plenty of time this year to gain 30 to 50 percent in terms of growth uh, and gains uh, good luck if you can't um, afford the training then just message me what grade and i can i can at least send you the test to have it i have all the tests pretty cheap for like five or ten bucks each and you just let me know the grade level and i can send you the link to that grade level so that you can practice the different skills with your students after you see me model them here on youtube and facebook so take care and hopefully you're enjoying your spring break make sure you have the correct order of priorities family first then friends well, i guess maybe uh put yourself in there yourself and your family and your friends should be your top priority this next week as you rest rejuvenate and restore your energy and uh, passion <laughs>